hi guys in this video we are going to see how we can host our laravel site okay i'm using flex if you're using cpanel or any other it is completely okay so you have to access to the file manager and also to databases you might have to up, uh, update the php ver version if some error is occurred so open your project folder you will see everything inside that folder so make a compress of that folder zip or ra now it is compressing till then let me open the file manager now if you are seeing this HD docs that means uh, when you upload your project to there the site will be available to the root domain if you are going to upload to a subdomain you have to go to there then upload the project zip to there if not if you want to upload the project to the root domain you can just upload it to ST docs okay so select your site as I mentioned so I'm going to upload that to this subdomain then let me check my zip so I can just drag that to there if you are using the C panel you might have to click upload button and then uh, drag your file to there then upload it once it is upload we are going to move everything inside the folder called our project name to our directory for uh, maybe ST docs or subdomain okay the zip file has been uploaded the next step is extract everything inside that extract that okay now we got our project folder now as I mentioned go inside to that folder select everything click move we are going to move everything to the root directory for our subdomain or to the HD docs that depends on your requirements so I will move that to my subdomain selecting it and clicking ok will allow us to do that ok everything has moved to my directory now I can delete the project name folder and I may delete this zip file now the next step is create a file called dot ht access dot ht access if you have that already you are going to edit that now you are going to edit that I will include some link in the video description so you have to download that file and copy everything inside that file called ht access then paste that in your server ht access file click save okay one thing to note if you are seeing any error when you access your site like a, a php version is not supported you can go ahead and open the php settings and take the latest version and click apply then ok that's way will fix your issue finally you can go ahead and create the database and uh, take your database username and the database name and the password to somewhere then open the file manager again for your site you have to open this .env file now you have to replace your database uh, database name and database username and the 
database pass at there. So that's how you can set up everything for the database. Okay, I hope this video helps. If this video helps, please subscribe. Thank you.